All right, everybody, I'm off to Scranton, off to the Montage Mountain. I think that's what it's called, the Toyota Montage Pavilion, something like that up in Scranton. And it's a couple hours drive. My hair's still wet, so uh, stay tuned to see what my hair looks like when it dries.
here is the number one bucket list fucking venue for us to play of all time. on the significance of tonight's show. My very first concert of all time was at this venue in the mid-90s to see a band called No Doubt. Shortly after, I remember my dad bringing me up here to see Bleak 182. Trying to sneak me back city so I could meet Tom DeLong. It worked out, but... Then after that, we played over there, over there, over there, and pretty much every square inch of this entire fucking parking lot on Warped Tour. I've seen countless shows here, countless fucking shows here coming here as a fan. And to say that we finally, after this fucking long of being a band, get to stand on this stage is something I could not describe to you how much it We will, we will 
all remember this moment for the rest of our entire fucking lives, and we hope that you do too. My friends, we are called Motionless in White. Okay, everybody, so I'm waiting in my car in the parking lot, and if I take off right now, I'm going nowhere real, real, real fucking quick, so it's a good chance to just kind of just talk about the concert a little bit here. What a fucking show, by the way. Absolutely was worth the two-hour-plus drive, worth all the money in the world. Would have paid more for this fucking show, to be honest. My favorite of the night, oh, man. Honestly, like, most of y'all would probably think these guys right here on my shirt but uh, I also like, got to say, uh, Motionless of White edged out Blackfield just a little fucking bit. They headlined. It was their hometown show as well. And they just sounded excellent. Like, like that's definitely the best I've seen them. Like, they're just like their production got tighter. They just sound better as a band uh, live. And they played a lot of good bangers. They didn't play anything from Creatures, which was a little disappointing because that's my favorite record. But the set was so good. It doesn't matter. Of course, they played my favorite all time Motionless song. Another Life, they played Cyber Hex, which I wasn't a huge fan of when I first heard of that song uh, for the first time, but sounded great live. I will give it that. And Moshe of White was very, very emotional about playing their hometown show. Second place is BVB, just because you guys know on the channel here, I've covered them many, many times as far as like doing reactions and just talking about the band doing tier lists. I literally have a freaking playlist dedicated to them, so... It was a blast. It was probably the, I, I, I'd actually have to count. I don't know off the top of my head, but probably close to 10th time seeing Black Veil Brides, close to 10th time seeing Iceland Kills, who always put on a really, really good show. And for the first time with Iceland Kills, I saw them doing like murder scenes, which was really fucking cool. They have a very, very, very theatrical show compared to what I saw last, which I think was launch of. 2016 or 17 maybe and yeah they're always they always were tight as well and we came as romans i didn't actually i honestly i didn't even know that they were playing until i showed up i i showed up and like i there was a band playing and i and it wasn't any of the three you know that i just mentioned and i just like look up at the back and it says we came as romans I, I was a nice pleasant surprise i'm not a huge fan but they had some good stuff, and they sounded really, really, really excellent, even without Kyle, too, which, rest in peace, by the way. I think his name's Dave or something. Uh, he's been their screamer for years, and his vocals are fucking excellent live. Really happy for them as well. Let's go see this tour package if you can. Trinity Tear. I might actually try to go see this in Baltimore, to be honest, and I actually will have friends with me that time, uh, my buddies that I went to. Falling in Reverse with and uh, Papa Roach with. Um, that's the one they're going to. I might actually join them because it was just so, that good of a show that I, I honestly want to fucking go again. I just fuck, fuck guys. Like this, <laughs> these bands are just becoming bigger, bigger, bigger influences. Motionless of White and Black River Rides in particular just, you know, continue to inspire me to do what I do and hopefully I can be doing what they're doing at some point as well. And with your guys' support, of course, that will be possible. And if you guys like content just like this, then give it a good old thumbs up. Give me a subscribe and ring that notification bell so you guys know when I'm uploading stuff just like this. That is fantastic of you guys. And yeah, I got a two hour drive and uh, I think I might be able to get somewhere now, but we'll see. All right, guys. Cheers.
Good night.